we're here to talk about the season member of the Astro Express. Well, Walt is super OP. He's very calm and he's very knowledgeable of the galaxy in Honkai Star Rail. All right, let me go over why he's OP. He can be a DPS and a debuffer. And his debuff affix is slow and imprisonment which causes it to be delayed. The opponent be delayed and like speed down. So that allows your team to advance forward once again so you can take more turns. All right, let's talk about Welt's skills, ultimates, stuff like that. So his skill actually does the most damage because it hit three times. And each time it hits, it has a um, certain amount of percentage of his attack and 70% to put an enemy speed down, which is slow. Okay, so since it hit three times, um, that's like 150. 50 well at level 6 right and then the ultimate level 6 120 so it does more damage but this actually put another debuff called imprisonment which delays their action and put a, a speed reduce of 10 percent so um the ultimate is more i think of a support move it doesn't do as much damage um but this does a lot more and obviously if you have the talent the talent is very good since you're attacking and then each hit can apply slow so when they're slow, they take additional damage. And this could be uh, for anything, right? If you ultimate, basic attack, whatever. And this can crit too. So time distortion can crit. So that's great. Um, his technique is great too. You summon um, uh, an area effect out and then that slows the enemy when you start. So you can actually use Welt skill and then use... Here, let me let me see if I can find an enemy right here. <laughs> right? And I can slow and I can change this. Boom! So we can get the slow and the shock. Time for some so hardship. Where we go, right? Yep. All right. I meant imprisonment when I said the slow earlier when I did the technique. Um, this one is a little different. It does twenty percent in uh, action delay and speed reduction ten percent. So the action delay part is different than the ultimate, right? The ultimate that. Um, but of course, it says right here only one dimension created by allies can be assisted at one time. I think it would just override it, if anything. Uh, I'm not too sure about that, so don't call me on that. All right, let's talk about the key traces. We have here the ultimate energy. You allow him to use his ultimate uh, faster. So after you use ultimate, you pretty much starting at 10 instead of zero, which is great, right? So you can do it more often. Uh, he doesn't have a problem getting energy, in my opinion, um, since you slow down enemy, and then um, in my build, you're going to run speed. So you're going to be faster than them, so you get energy back pretty quickly. And I don't think the the things stack too much. So um, if you do this using an ultimate and then you get the 12%, I don't think you can like stack it. You can refresh it though, but I don't think it'll stack too much. So um, this is, would be a DPS well build. So it's going to be more six centered around DPS and doing more damage. So we have this key trace, which is kind of what you're going to build around. But of course, obviously this is going to be Ascension 6. Uh, it's about enemies that are broken you do 20 percent more damage this would be big man 20 percent just in general and since your your skill actually hit multiple times it's gonna break the enemy shield a lot quicker so all right so i believe there's like two builds you can go for in my opinion the more support oriented debuffer well or the dps well i'm going for more of a dps route so um we're gonna go over kind of like that first and i'll mention like support things on the side but either set you do want four piece because i don't think there's any other set right now out for the only imaginary character we have out right now that can work so the imaginary set increases imaginary damage i feel like either if you're going to support or a dps you want imaginary damage as your first primary because damage scales a lot better than attack and everything else is a multiplicative addition no no that's gonna be confusing multiplicative uh increase right so the four piece is the best one um it also gives you when you're attacking deep of enemies uh you'll be debuffing enemies a lot of the time because wealth applies low on his skill 70 percent per hit i don't have a problem right now landing slow or imprisonment and stuff like that but maybe in the future you will want that but as a okay so for support you want to concentrate on effect hit rate you don't care too much about damage you have your dps doing the damage but if you want to go like a sub dps route or dps you want crit rate and crit damage first so um this already gives you 10 percent and 20 percent crit damage 
because uh, crit damage also scales like damage, but you have to crit first. So depending on which side you're going for, it kind of changes uh, your body one, right? So I got crit damage because that's what the game gave me. Uh, depending on your substats on your other relics here, like if I have, you have a lot of crit rate, then maybe you can go crit damage. If you have a lot of crit damage, you go crit rate, okay? But if you're going for support, like a more support, um, well, you want, instead of crit damage, you want effect hit rate. So you want to make sure you debuff them, okay? But you have to be kind of balanced when it comes to that because then you do get bonuses, like, for example, debuff enemies take more crit rate and crit damage as well as technique when they're slow they take more damage um so you kind of want to balance uh effect hit rate and crit rate and crit damage but you kind of have to prioritize depending which one you're going for um so even if you're going dps you will want substat that give effect hit rate so do you want to make sure you're able to slow next you want to go for speed because speed attack like i said has diminishing return especially when you have your cone your character stats um as you get higher and higher it start diminishing um so you want to go for speed that's like the best one you don't want speed as a sub stat though because it's trash it doesn't give you that much but if you have the main stat like on the boots that's good and since you're slowing down enemies you're gonna be uh that's already a negative for them and if you're faster that's the negative for them so double negative for them and double positive for you okay <laughs> So, um, obviously, let's review here. You want to go uh, imaginary damage, number one. Then crit rate, crit damage, or effect hit rate, depending on which one you're going for. Support roll, effect hit rate first. Um, and if you're DPS, crit rate, crit damage, depending on your substats. But you do want all three of them as much as you can. That will be optimal. Okay. Uh, attack could be like the last one that you want. Uh, you don't want speed as a substat. It's, it's trash. It's a waste. <laughs> You rather get attacked because then you do get that bonus right in the trace here based on based on the attack of his of the character so you do want attack afterwards at the substat after you get crit rate crit damage hit hurt effect hit rate obviously things don't go well um i still don't have a five star of one of these that give me this all right so for the the ornament stuff this is not the one you want. I'm just wearing it because it's imaginary damage boost because that's the number of things that you want, right? Imaginary damage boost. So you want the imaginary damage boost, but you want this set. You want the effect hit rate, right? Because then, like I said, you want imaginary damage, effect hit rate, and crit rate, crit damage. Um, I would not I would say you don't want this because it, it, it's for increasing its ultimate damage, right? Its ultimate damage sucks, man. I, I swear, like the skill does the most damage um the ultimate damage doesn't do that much that's why i wouldn't concentrate more on the ult uh so this one go good for both sets and of course increase your attack which in, in turn increase your um time distortion trace all right and then for the rope here um if you're going more of a support route you want energy recharge rate but if you go for dps attack doesn't scale as much right like i mentioned so I would actually go for break effect because you do have Ascension 6 later where you do more damage and break. And since he's multiple times, he breaks so easily. Uh, you break the enemy so easily. And so um, break effect is a good option. If obviously you can't find one attack can be like a good filler for now. But uh, break effect is what you want to go for to, to maximize this breaking. So most of the time you're going to be fighting things. If you look at the weakness distribution I saw somewhere, uh, imaginary actually is the highest one with the most enemies of weakness distribution. So there's a lot of breaking involved. Break their legs, guys. <laughs> All right, let's go with light cone. Obviously, the best one is with his picture on it. Okay, in the name of the world, increases the damage straight up by 24% on debuff uh, units. And you get, when you use the skill, that attack itself has an effect hit rate. So you apply slow more, more often. And your attack increases, so you do more damage. All right, so this is the best out of all of these. Um, we, the, this is the one I'm using because the game gave me this early and I kind of invested into this. Give you 12% for every debuff has on enemy and each hit that like applies stuff. Right, so shock, slow, whatever. You can get up to 36%. That's what I'm using. I already invested. But I believe that this one's good. I got this super late, so I didn't switch to it. 
But this one's probably like the first four star you want to use because it just gives 12% damage increase to your whole team pretty much. Once you ensnare them, if they're not ensnared, 60% hit chance and since you're running effect hit rate most of the time, at least as for subtat or whatever, it'll increase. Right? And then this is apply for each hit, so that's great. And I can't wait for this character to come out. The other ones are okay. This one is just for the effect hit rate. You don't do really do DOT, right? <laughs> Um, this one's just for the break effect. You don't do shock, wind, or shear. So, that's that. So, those are all I like cones. Remember, this one number one if you can get it. And then you can go for these two if you can. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed the video of this build guy for the DPS kind of route. Uh, well, you see the cane. He summoned black holes. He has glasses like me. Um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what your thoughts are on Welt. Because Welt been my carry. He's my main DPS if you can see my team. I don't really have anyone else I'm free to play. And um, I still have more relics to hunt for. And check out my Twitch stream. Twitch.tv. And I'll see you guys next time. Alright? Later days.